large wig shoddy. Now let's go. Quiet on the set, please. Hey, Shadi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiana, and if you're new here, hey, boo. Wherever you are, wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're in a good mood. I don't want you to get you good stuff. Before we go ahead and get started, if you enjoy my vibes, if you enjoy my energy, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Please also don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. I would greatly appreciate those as well. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video, because I know. I already know, so you ain't gotta do it, and you ain't gotta say it. But that's my bad. <laughs> First of all, get into it, yeah, get into it, yeah. First of all, I would just like to say a happy Big Daddy New Year to everybody. Duh. It's already a good year. I am already going through trials and tribulations. <laughs> but would it be my life if I wasn't? No, it would not. Is this cute or is this too much? Is it too much? Ew, happy new year! Ra -za -za -za. Ra -za -za -za. So I'm meant to record this video. Actually, you know how I do. I'm meant to record it like a week ago. Ah, don't do that. Ah. We are drinking some sparkling rose. It is non-alcoholic, so don't do the most mm, a little crusty. ASMR. Ew, I wanna make a toast. Eh. <laughs> I would like to make a toast to everyone watching this. All of my subscribers, all of my new subscribers, cause I have a plethora of new subscribers, which I am so happy for. I just wanna say thank you to everyone who is watching this video, who came back to my channel to support me, even though I've been going for eight months. Oh! Don't do that. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for the comments. The comments be cute. I might want it. The comments be real cute. Thank you to all my family, all my friends, everyone who supports me in my channel. I hope everyone has a really good Fit Daddy New Year and it's filled with blessings and joy and happiness. And hopefully your trials and tribulations don't defeat you. So cheers. So for today's video, I want to start the year off with something new and I want to introduce new things to my channel. And one of those things are reaction videos. Hopefully it goes pretty well. So I feel like this year, we as a unit, we could all learn how to save some money. So who else better to show us how to save money than the cheapskates? Now, it's this one video in particular that I'm not so excited to watch, but I am at the same time because see and I can sense the foolishness. So this video, let me find it, hold on. Oh, that is not the best girl. Ha! No! I found the video. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, like, I, I do the most. If you're new here, hey boo. <laughs> so the video says, a self-proclaimed hillbilly cheapskate. And then in the little snippet, in the little snippety snip description box that I can see, it says she saved ways to only spend a thousand dollars a month for her family of four by sharing her extreme ways. They all sleep in one bed and share bath water. Let me stop you right there. You're going to jail. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, you're already going to prison. Like, why? You're going to jail. Like, the whole family. All of y'all are going to jail. Like, you're going to prison. Like, you know that, right? You're going to jail. You're going to prison. So, first of all, ew. And that's just the title of the video. Like, that's just... Okay. Okay. Is everybody ready? Because I'm... Ew. It's like, to click or not to click. Because I'm already triggered. Like, okay. Here we go. <laughs> not the rooster. That rooster was mad husky. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Woo! I 
really, I'm really trying not to gag and I'm really trying not to throw up. Why? My dad! Mm hmm because I thought that's what I had seen, what I had saw. Why is the back with a brown? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Nobody else saw that the bad footer was brown. Okay. Ew. And then he was. Why are you making a mustache out of brown glitter? Like, why are you doing that? Your glitter is brown. Yeah. A fake Santa Claus mustache is the least of your concerns. Okay. Oh my goodness. Looks like you had a good time. You smell good. I know you want it. Okay. Did you really just get him out the bathtub, hug him, tell him that he smells good? What my thing is, why is no one talking about the brown? The okay. Yes. Alright, go find your dad. If I can get something for free, I'd rather do that any time than shelling out a dollar. My family and I are so cheap that we all share one tub of water a day. You're going to prison. We don't have cooties. We're never that dirty. It just makes sense to use the same water. In what realm does it make sense? Let me right there because there are people out there that are watching this that are very impressionable little children little kids grown adults because obviously grown adults don't let her trick you don't don't let her trick you and then thinking that this will ever make sense this will never make sense ew and then he like we don't have cooties water is brown and then i don't see not one bar of soap why is the water so watery where's the bar of soap i need proof to be dish soap for all i know this is how it never works you know <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm Melody Rose and I'm a hillbilly cheapskate. <sighs> to save money on water and electricity, we use cold water and the whole family takes a bath. They don't even get to use hot water? You're going to jail. You mean to tell me you guys, the four of you, are bathing in suspiciously browned colored cold water? My husband will take a bath, then I do, then Bob, then Ronnie. And it saves us a lot of money. Sometimes I actually do want to take my own shower here and there. I bet you do want to take your own shower. Think about how much water a bathtub uses. I bet there's probably, what, 20, 25 gallons? Four of us, that's 100 gallons a day. I mean, think about it. How stupid is that? You just asked me how stupid is it that you save on gallons? Honey! I need to calculate how, how much prison time. <laughs> You just asked me how stupid is it really that I myself just took a fresh hot shower. Okay. I ration our shampoo and body wash. I just pour about that much in there. Oh, that's enough for a month. We run out, everybody's out of luck, so everybody's really good about rationing. Oh! She just rationed out a glop, a dingleberry sized glop. It said that's enough for the month. By rationing her family's use of soap and shampoo, Melody manages to keep bottles for over six months. In fact, she's found a way to save on almost all of their household supplies. I don't buy toilet paper. I use newspapers that we get free in town. Pick up one sheet, you don't need more than that. You crumple it up, you use it, and then you put it into this bag. And when this bag's full, we take it out and burn it. That has to hurt. That has to hurt when you wipe with paper. All y'all booty cracks have cuts on them. Like, you're not gonna tell me otherwise. I'm sorry, you're not doing that. We try to keep our electric bill as low as possible by making sure the lights are not being used. We do have electricity. See, it's on. That's it. I'm not gonna waste any more. I, we have electricity in this house. I don't use it. I use a lantern. I'm not gonna run up no $100 electric bill. That, to me, sometimes makes me have a heart attack. I think the electric bill thing, that I do understand. You're not that crazy if you don't wanna run up an electric bill. Cause my electric bill, <laughs> the way my life is set up, can I borrow your lantern, honey? That part I understand. Cause electricity, it's a bit much, okay? So that part, I will give you a pass. There's some people in our family, like my daughter, my mother-in-law, who thinks our cheapskate ways are a little out there. I hope so. What is that? What is that? Who is in that tub? Enough water? Is everybody just gonna walk past and not have no questions? Mmm. we going to jail. <laughs> I can wash a laundry basket full of dirty clothes as fast as a electric washing machine. We just want the smells and the dirt out. Looks like I got all the soap out of it. Squeeze out the red one. 
The red one's clean. We ran out again. Okay, so they wash their clothes by hand. That they used to do back in the day. And then they used to like gather around, sing cute little songs. Like do da do da do da da do da do da. I think there's plenty of people that wash their clothes and after they wash them, instead of using the dryer, they actually hang them up on like a clothesline. I know somebody who does that and she said it, it just smells so much fresher. So I'll give you a pass for that. So far, we, we calming down. We, we saying some things that, that make some sense to me. That thing though that they washing their clothes in, that look a little suspicious. I'm not really gonna let that slide, but I'm gonna let it slide. By doing her laundry outside, Melody saved herself $2,000 on a washing machine. I understand that, saving money, save $2,000 by not washing clothes with the dry. I, that I understand. I completely understand that. And she also uses her backyard to save on the cost of another appliance. We had a small uh, chest freezer that went out and instead of just throwing it away, we just, well, we come up with the idea of burying it in the ground. Got some eggs. This here is some home butchered pig. Apple pie moonshine. The great thing about this refrigerator, it doesn't cost a dime to uh, run this. You get 100 degrees outside, and if this is in the sun, that's not good. You have to keep it in the shade. But the ground keeps it at about 55 degrees inside. The meat, well, we'll keep it in there no more than a week. The eggs, being unwashed, they will last probably a month or more. I feel like them burying the chest thing in the ground, I think that's pretty smart. They are by all means doing the absolute most. Like I'm not, <laughs> like we're not gonna pretend like they're not. But um, the, the cooler or whatever in the ground to save money on cooling. That makes sense if it's cold enough. And he did say that they rotate, that they rotate and they throw out the, the bad stuff. And I watch the Bible shows and they be burying everything. Oh, I definitely see why some people see our behaviors as over the top, but I don't care about being normal. I think my parents are a little obsessed with uh, being cheapskates. Like I'm not trying to do the most and I'm not trying to get too deep. In my opinion, this is contributing to their childhood trauma. Like when they grow up, do you really think that they're not gonna feel some type of way that you made them share a bath with her with the whole family? Like, do you really think that that's not gonna be a part of their childhood trauma? Like the most extreme thing I ever did to save on medical costs or any kind of costs like that is I removed my own teeth. If I have a cavity, I just take a little chisel and a hammer and I sit there and chip it and chip it and chip it until I can knock it out. Every once in a while, I've, I've been known to take it and whack it really hard. You get knocked out for a minute, you come to and you finish. Did this lady just say that she voluntarily removes her own teeth? There was like four teeth missing on like one side. She just says she takes a chisel as if she is sculpting out marble. And then she said that, that she, when she knocks out, that's okay because when she comes to, she just continues. The amount of prison time, okay. Okay. Thanks to all of her cost-saving measures, Melody and her family get by on just $1,000 a month. But her expenses are about to double with a visit from her daughter, son-in-law, and their three kids. She's gonna come to visit with us for two weeks. Two weeks? No. We have a 72-foot trailer, and I would say half of it is closed off. We all share a bedroom. Why are you sharing a bedroom? What's on the other half, honey? We only utilize this one. The rest of the house we blocked off to save on heating and cooling. There's a four of us sleeping here on this king size bed. No. Winter time it saves a lot on heating bills because we have the body heat. No. We don't mind cuddling. We're just that kind of family. So we can crawl up in here and just go to sleep at night. Unnecessary trials and tribulations and unnecessary childhood trauma that you are contributing to your children. No! I would be willing. I would say, Mom, I volunteer as tribute. Mother, the way that I volunteer as tribute to sleep in this other bedroom, whether it's cold or hot, it doesn't matter. I will take one. I will take one for the team. I do have two other bedrooms, but I am not willing to to use that part of my house. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna to have to figure out another place for her to sleep that's not gonna cost us any money. My daughter uh, called and she's coming to stay for two weeks. It just makes me ask questions about the daughter. Why? Hey, you and I both know that you know that your mom is the way that she is. Why would you not 
try to stay in a hotel. If that's my family, there's no way that I'm bringing my newborn baby to stay in these kind of conditions when you don't have to. There's no way I'm doing that. That's five more people using our electricity, five more people using our water, five more mouths to feed. I've got to use the same amount that I always do. I do have two other bedrooms, but I am not willing to, to use that part of my house. I'm setting a, up this tent for me and my family to sleep in. My daughter and her husband and kids can sleep in the house. We've done this before, so it's not a big deal. My family and I, we've slept in a tent for three months before our trailer got set up. A lot of people would have, you know, found a rental house or, or something like that while they were waiting. People were acting like, oh my gosh, you lived in a tent for three months? These are the same people who go pay to stay at a resort. I mean, why don't you give me a dollar bill and let me burn it for you? Did you just say, why don't you give me a dollar bill and let me burn it for you? Because other people want to stay somewhere nice. My daughter's lifestyle is very different from ours. Once she moved away, she moved off to a city and she's, she's wasteful. We use cold water. But my daughter has to have hot water. Is she really trying to like drag her daughter for using hot water? She's like, she wants to use hot water. Me, <laughs> me, me, me. Did I mention you're going to jail? I have to figure a way to heat it and I'm not gonna let us turn on the hot water heater. We gotta find that old horse trough. Okay. Uh, Brandy is not gonna take a bath in our bath water. And you why? know her, honey, after four of us have uh, been in there, I, she I, senses a ghost. You know how right, she is. All right, all right. She just said Brandy is not gonna take a bath in our bath water. Her dad really fixed his lips to say why. And you why? know how she sends his ghost. You know how right. she right. is. Right. She know how she right. is. Right. The level of confusion. Four plus five is nine, right? You mean to tell me you want not only the four that you already got, but five extra people to use suspiciously brown cold water to wash their body with? Here it is. But it has a big hole in the bottom. Probably line this with plastic. Let's take it around front. I think just right out here. Okay. This is going to be great. I really think what we need to do is boil some water on a campfire so I'm not using my electricity for my stove. They really went outside and made a campfire to boil some water. I was with you with some of the stuff that you was doing, but this is just way too much. And then the tub that they gave her, not only does it have a hole in it, it's brown on the inside. Who wants to bathe in something that's brown? I wish my mom would present me with a rusted tub and tell me to have at it that has a hole in it. <laughs> that has a hole in the bottom of the tub and to get the boiling. I'll be like, mom, what are you talking about? I'm not doing that. Look who's coming. Yeah. Get a baby here, get a baby here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hey. Ain't nothing. He's precious. <gasps> Grandma gets to hold him. Look at the little baby. Me and my mom are nothing alike. I'm like a city girl. She is a country girl. Look at him. Okay. A country girl. Look at him. He looks like he do not want to be here. A country girl. You can see it in his face. He like, I don't want nothing to do with this. I don't even know why I'm here. And then on top of that, I'm here for two weeks. Call the cops. You want to see where we're staying? They don't use lights in the house. They use lanterns, for goodness sake. Look over on your left. See the tent? That's where we're gonna stay. That's my new home if you get in my bedroom for two weeks. Got a big surprise for you. I know how you love taking hot baths and stuff. We got you a nice hot bath outside for y'all to take. We've been boiling water. See, we're trying to accommodate you where you'll be happy. Yeah, don't you like it? Don't you like it? That'll keep it going the whole time for you and there's a pot, you need more hot water. You just, just dip it out. Dip it up in there, boil it, and you can have hot water for the next two weeks. She, she knew what she was getting in for when she said she's coming for two weeks. You know what, though? I believe her. Because there ain't no way you didn't know what she was getting into. I mean, we all know that it's for the show. But why would you really show up with yourself, your husband, the, the kids, basically y'all whole squad, and you know exactly how your parents get down? Ain't no way. What's that, chicken? Hey, Mom, what are we eating? Squirrel dumplings. We shot a couple squirrels earlier, so squirrel dumplings, frog legs too. They got some frogs, nice, nice plump ones. Somebody. Honey, they pay good money for them in them fancy French restaurants. You get it for free. You ought to be happy. I can't wait. 
I don't think there's a limit at all to how far I'll go to save money. That's the end of the episode and I'm traumatized. <laughs> That's just about it. I am traumatized. I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks to save money this year. However, for me personally, I will not be participating in any of those tips or tricks. Ooh, let's play a little game. I'm gonna do another one. And every time I do one of these, you have to take something away from the video. Like not to say that you would actually do this in real life, but like if you had to, what would be something that you saw in the video that you would apply to your own life, if you had to. Out of everything that, that I saw, the only thing that I would take away and that I would actually participate in is washing my clothes by hand and hanging them outside to dry. What's something that you would take from this video? And if any of y'all say that y'all would take the sharing of the bath water, <laughs> you're also going to jail. <laughs> Prison. Prison to all of you. So that is all that I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I hope you have a great day, night, whenever it is that you're watching this. And a happy new year. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I've never been so stressed and so traumatized after recording a video. Quiet on the set, please. I wonder how much prison time I would... Oh, first of all, is this a look? Yes or no? Happy New Year, everyone.